Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Many, many years ago, there was a gas station in Coldwater that sold white gas. Oops. The thing I didn't want to do was overfill that, and I just did. Before we fire these off, I'm going to make sure that I have this area all cleaned up and there isn't any gas laying around. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this can of white gas and put it back over in the building where the tractor is. I'm waiting for things to dry out when we get set up to do this particular part of the job. The material I'm going to be using is called Safety Self 45 and it's cadmium free 45% silver brazing alloy. It's expensive stuff. And then Stay Silv White Brazing Flux. I'm going to use the brazing flux on that part and get it heated up and fluxed before I put the Stay Silv on it. Before I put the Safety Silv on it. I'm going to get this part heated up and fluxed with the seat. I'm going to get this part heated up and fluxed with the stay silv before I use the safety silv on it. I want to make sure that it's clean so that when it gets hot enough for the silver solder to melt, it's going to flow right on there and go in and wick into that crack. Now I had this all cleaned up, but over time has gotten a little dirty so I want to make sure and get this chemically clean. You can see that there's some dust and dirt in there. So I'm going to take some sandpaper and clean that up. That'll work, but I'm going to use sandpaper. If I do all this juggling while the torches aren't running, it's a lot easier.
brand new can. Never used it. Used to silver solder together a lot of things. Then I got the cutting torches and the oxyacetylene rig, and I started brazing things. And brazing works quite well. It's, it's easy with a oxyacetylene torch. It's quick. But it does have that problem when you're doing thin sections, especially like this uh, plain body. It wants to build up. So silver solder, with that ability to flow into the gaps, is actually a better choice for what we're doing here today. Always read and follow all directions. This material can be hazardous to your health. And we are using fire and flame, which can be also very hazardous to your health. The silver solder has its own set of instructions along with the flux. each one of which is voluminous. And of course, this is written in four languages, so the directions are uh, only about a quarter of the page. You do want to be careful. It's nothing to be playing with. It's not a toy. We're going to be getting up around 18, 1900 degrees, and the flame coming out of that uh, gasoline torch is really hot. It can get hot enough to not melt steel, but real close. Okay, we have our prep done. Got our area clear. Torches lined up. Jig set. Part fluxed. Now we have to fire off the torches. This is the only thing that I really haven't done. The rest of the stuff's pretty easy. Firing off the torches is a, an involved process. <laughs> 